Good Saturday evening, everybody. Welcome back. Tonight's video is going to be all about the fleet of vehicles that I work on in the family. Okay. Let's go over past and then we'll get to the present and I'll show you a video of how I keep track of everything in the fleet. So, um, recently we just sold my wife's minivan. Uh, we sold that to my wife's nephew. Uh, the 2016 Honda Odyssey. Um, I had just had the transmission fluid flushed, uh, put on a rear set of uh, rear brakes. I did those oil change and it had about 101,500 miles that van is it's in great shape they were very very happy to purchase that from us uh, and that was just last month and then we used that money to put as a down payment on the Tesla Model Y okay before that uh, I had a 2010 Toyota Prius that I bought brand new uh, I gave it to my granddaughter and last year, and I gave it to her when I got my Bolt, when it finally came in. So, um, she drove that, and then it blew a head gasket. It had 243,000 miles on it or something like that. And the estimate from Toyota was uh, like four times what the price, what the car was worth to do the head gasket. Doing some research, I noticed that that was a problem for the 2010. I think it was the 10 through 14 Priuses. There was never a recall on them. Should have been. Never was. Um, but they had a lot of those issues. I never knew that until it had a quarter million, almost a quarter million miles. Okay. Before that, I gave my pickup truck, which was a 2005 Toyota Tacoma, with the 2.7 liter four cylinder. I gave that to my sister. It had 300,000 miles on it, it was running great. Gave that to my sister. Uh, I don't know, that's probably been at least two or three years ago, maybe. I think it's got like 315, 315,000 miles on it now. She just brought it over to have me look at it the other day. Um, it had blown a fuse in the cigarette lighters. Um, it's got dual lighters and so one of them's now not working and I put a fuse in the other one works uh, So got that working for her uh, Checked the transmission fluid checked everything. Uh, it was down just a smidgen just topped it off. It's running great um, 315,000 miles or so it's right around there. She's had it. She doesn't drive a lot um, But it's very convenient. She loves the truck so and those are our recent vehicles in the recent past that we've had, okay? So that brings us up to what is in our fleet currently. And what I do, and then I will show you this, this chalkboard that I take care of. I basically, every time I change the oil, I have the date and the mileage down and the vehicle, okay? I also, every time I check the, I change the oil, I usually check um, brakes, belts, hoses, fluids, and top those off. And I thoroughly enjoy doing that. I'm, get, I'm getting older and starting to slow down a little, um, but I still, to this point, I still thoroughly enjoy doing that. So I, uh, I just, I just really like that. So. Um, let me turn this around and I'll show you what we have in our current fleet and uh, we'll go from there. Stand by. Okay. Yeah, so I hope you can see that okay. Let's just start at the top. Uh, currently in our fleet is a 2023 Chevrolet Bolt. And on July 3rd of 24, I did a tire rotation. That's what the TR stands for at 37,032 miles. Okay. Below that is the 2024 Tesla. That 62724 is the purchase date, which was one month ago today. Okay. 
So when I do the next tire rotation on that, we've already got over 4,000 miles. When I get to about 5,000 miles, I'll do a 5,000 mile tire rotation on that. Uh, right below that, my son-in-law has a 2016 Honda CRV. And on July 20th of 24, I changed the oil and it had 138,615, 138,615. And I also put uh, front brake pads on that. So I, that was at the last oil change. So right below that, uh, my daughter has a 2016 Ford Explorer. And on June 18th, I changed the oil and it had 205,760, 205,760. Then below that, my granddaughter is currently driving a 2008 Chevy Equinox, which I purchased brand new in 2008. And today, 7-27-24, I changed the oil and rotated the tires at 209,086 miles. 209,086. And I also noticed that it needs brake pads. Uh, I ordered front and rear pads for it. They'll be in the next couple of days and I'll uh, put those on it. So below that, uh, my son-in-law, my other son-in-law drives a 2014 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, 5.5 of 24 is when I changed the oil last. It had 95,348, 95348. Below that, the final vehicle in the fleet, uh, one of my daughters has a 2019 Toyota Highlander. And on June 24th of 24, uh, I changed the oil at 64,874, 64,874. So um, that is currently the fleet uh, at, at what I take care of. So I know I've had a lot of questions from people asking me when I talk about doing something. I do a video if I work on one of the cars. And uh, I've had several people ask me how many vehicle I, vehicles I work on. So uh, just stand by and we'll turn this camera back around. So there you go. So the next time somebody at church or whatever asks me what I do as a retiree, that's what keeps me busy. Uh, I like to play golf, but I haven't played golf in a year or two. I just haven't gotten out and do, done much. Um, so I've got basically vehicles to take care of. Um, and, I, and I enjoy that right now. I still do. Uh, I've, I've enjoyed working on cars for the past 40, 40 some years probably. 45 years. So ever since I was a teenager, I worked on cars, did brakes and oil changes and what have you, just, just simple things. I, I don't do major uh, vehicle stuff. And I've even uh, tuned, toned it down a little bit. I mean, I still do, you know, whatever, like rotors and brakes mainly. Um, if it gets anything too much more in depth than that, I don't do um, really, really hard stuff, you know, stuff like that. I can do, you know, serpentine belts, um, just, just things like that, just basic DIY type stuff. Okay. Other than that, uh, I think that's about it. I've been wanting to do this for a while because people have been asking, like, well, how many vehicles do you take care of and what do you have and what's this and what's that? So um, there you go. So uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, add any comments that you want down the bottom. Thanks, guys. Stay safe and God bless you.